When Fatuma came to the Dadaab refugee camp in Kenya in 1992, she saw few opportunities to thrive and knew something had to be done. Here in the refugee setup, uh, there's no chance to get work, and the people they don't have capital to start business for their own. We came with an idea since most of us uh, had family and let us work together and at least produce something which we can sell and get free income later. That led to the birth of the group Nyota Farsamo, Swahili and Somali words meaning star and handwork at the Hagadera refugee camp. Fatuma is one of the founders and now serves as the chairperson of this collective of about 50 women from the refugee and host community who come together daily. Doing both weaving and Here they learnt basket weaving and how to make tie and dye prints for dresses and headscarves. Their products sell for about 15 to 20 dollars. Although they were helping to take care of their families and community, some of the women faced the sting of cultural norms. Some of our women here, their husbands are not comfortable of doing this work because she, she's saying, you go every morning and you come evening, I don't know what you are doing. It is such situations that lay foundation of spaces such as this one, a women's center where they can learn new skills such as tailoring, baking, tie and dye, soap making and even farming of drought resistant crops. IRC together with our partners construct to create a safe space for women and girls. Despite all the challenges that they may be going through, all the traumas that they may have experienced, they have a space where they can come and call their own. Halima Mahmoud came to this space after she completed primary school and her family couldn't afford to send her to high school. She is now a mentor in a program called Girls Shine, spending her free time speaking to other young women about safety and making informed life choices. We normally inform the younger girls like anyone who is willing like to go back to school. The Dadaab refugee complex is made of three camps, Hagadera, Dagahale and Ifo. War in Somalia and a regional drought have pushed the number of residents higher in the recent years, causing an influx in the camps. <laughs> Kenya's Department of Refugee Services manages the camps, supported by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. UNHCR says more than half of the refugees under the age of 59 are women. We engage, first of all, to understand both the national, county and sub-county legal regime that facilitates the empowerment of, of women. We work together to ensure that those practices that inevitably lead to the discrimination of the girl, child or the women are not carried on. As the world commemorates the International Women's Day, for the women here at Dadaab, the work of women's spaces and groups such as Nyota Farsamo helps them become more resilient and able to look to the future. At least you have to be strong women to overcome the problem in life. The age consideration for skills uptake for the young girls and women ensures that once all is said and done, for the young girls, they are encouraged to remain in school, and for the women, they are empowered to face the future. Saida Swale, VOA News, Dadab, Kenya.